This week's webinar is brought to you by PremiumBeat.com, providing high-quality stock music for all of your video and film projects. One of the things that we're seeing is, is an increasing need for collaboration between team members and between clients that are outside the team. A team is defined as somebody that's inside your company. A client or collaborator is somebody that's outside the company. There's a new website called Frame.io. Frame.io is available at their website, supports Final Cut 10, has a free version, also has paid subscriptions. It's a collaborative web-based file and project sharing and review website. There's multiple levels available for different size teams. It's tightly integrated with Final Cut Pro 10 using a brand new free plugin that works with Final Cut 10. And it allows you to share your work, your clips and your edits with people inside and outside the team, inside your company and outside the company. Here's how it works. I've got a very simple project here that consists of three shots. Let me just hear the music on the computer for a second and play these three clips. Okay, now that's my piece. I want to have Brianna, who's also working with me on editing this, get her reaction to it. So I'm going to select this, go up to File, go down to Share, and the, the application that you download, which is free from the Mac App Store, gives us two new choices. The ability to upload to frame an H.264 compressed version or the actual source files. Because I want to save time, I'm going to pick H.264. This is the standard export setting. And these are exactly the settings that you're used to. This hasn't changed at all. Click Next. And now it opens up a new interface. Do I want to send up the entire timeline, which is my edit, as an entire piece so people can take a look at the edit and decide if they like it, or do I want to load the clips? I'm going to load just the clips, and I'm going to send it to my test project, which is what Bri and I are both working on, and click Upload. At this point, it's now uploading the files, and you can see that it's exporting these but what I want to do now is notice that the upload is going on. It's sending up three clips, and it gives me a status report of how long that's taking. When I'm done, it gives me the chance by clicking a button to say, okay, congratulate me, I am done. Do you want to go to the project? And the answer is yes, I want to go to the project. This opens up the Frame I.O. site, and there is my movie, and there are my three independent clips. Well, what's really nice about this is if I double-click the movie, for instance, notice that Brianna says that if I click on it, I click on her comment. It takes me directly to where that comment was placed, and she says, I really like that shot. She can comment and make the comments frame accurate. I can play my sequence and see what, what she likes or what she doesn't like, but notice that she's, she, she doesn't like my music. <sighs> I thought it was, you know, kind of okay music, but maybe it didn't have the, the drive that she wants. She's going to upload something. So I'm going to go back and go down to here, and she's added a new piece of music. So I double-click it to listen to it and, and say, all right, that is a bit more dramatic. I'm going to download it. So I download the file that Bree sent because she's, she's located elsewhere. She's not, not in the studio. So I'm going to just hide this and go back to Final Cut and just pull this back out of the way just a little bit. Open up the download folder. And there's the Celebrate clip that Bree just gave me. I'm going to grab Celebrate and just drag it into the timeline just to get it out of there. Go back to Final Cut. Get rid of the old clip, take the new clip, drop it in, and play it. OK, 
okay, clearly I've got to add a whole lot more shots if the music is going to have that much more drive. But look at how we were able to, I could send her my edit. She could review the edit. She could add comments to the edit. And the comments were made frame accurately so I could see exactly the shot that she was talking about. Then she said, you know, I don't like this. Try this piece of music instead. I say, hey, that's kind of nice. And it changes my thinking on the edit. I'm opening up the whole collaborative process through this web-based device called Frame.io. I'm plus and minus on the web. I'm definitely plus and minus on the cloud. But when I've got multiple people, both inside the company and outside the company, working on the same project, this is one very cool way to collaborate. This web-based collaboration tool is called Frame.io. Learn more by visiting frame.io. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at third-party plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 165. By the way, if you need to stretch your training dollars, a membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.